Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. It is still December 6th, <coughs> Monday, 2021. Uh, I figured I would go ahead and get the second video made for you guys. I have my hot tea going. I'll tell you what, that's a saving grace right there. Hot tea with honey. Awesome. Absolutely, and then the honey helps. Uh, definitely break up the congestion, which is a good thing as well. So, all right, so let's get into this topic Afghanistan, right? Boy, things have gotten so much better from Afghanistan since we've left the country over there. You haven't heard anything about it, right? What have you heard realistically in the news? Not very much. Right? The Taliban has taken away women's rights, which we knew that they would. There are still thousands of people over there, green card holders and stuff like that. Uh, what's going on with them? Why are we not hearing about them? There's still a lot of Americans over in Afghanistan. There are a lot of people that we had working for us that are still there. What about them? Right? I'm curious. I mean, these are curiosity questions. These are curiosity questions. You don't hear anything. You're not hearing anything about it. Uh, not hearing about how they're starving over in Afghanistan. You're not hearing about that either. There's not a lot of information being put out about what is going on over there. Uh, because, obviously, any negative impact of what is happening over there reflects badly upon the current administration. So you're not going to hear that. You know, the, the news media is just so amazing to me. So biased. It is disgusting. Whatever happened, here's a weird thing, whatever happened to reporting the news, good, bad, or indifferent, and letting the American people decide uh, what they want to think or what they want to believe. Whatever happened to that? Hmm, what a concept. That would be very, very interesting. Got Mr. Max here, Mr. Majestic. <laughs> He's a good cat. You a good boy? You can come over. Come here. Um, but yeah, it's uh, situation over in Afghanistan is not good. Uh, you know, women's rights are obviously taking a back seat once again with now the Taliban in charge. Uh, we saw that coming. Everybody knew that was going to happen. Uh, it's not like they're going to take back over and then they're going to change. What do you got going on there? What is that? Mm -hmm. Got a little something there. There, that's gone. All right. <laughs> Caesar had a little something on his nose that needed to be taken off. Yes, and now it's gone. Much better. But, uh... <clears throat> Anyway, uh, you know, the situation, it wasn't going to be like the Taliban was going to come in and everything was going to be wonderful again. Uh, not all Americans got out. Not all green card holders got out. There's a lot of people that worked for us that aided us, the United States of America, that were left behind. You're not hearing about what's happening to those folks. Uh, there's definitely a food crisis over there, uh, you know. I think we're going to be seeing a lot of things like this, folks, all over the world. I really, really do. It's very disheartening. Uh, it's sad to see, and it shouldn't be happening. It shouldn't be happening. We shouldn't have people starving. Really shouldn't. You know, there's plenty of food. Plenty. And, uh, it's an unfortunate situation. And it's not going to change anytime soon as far as I can see. And that's sad as well. You know, I think that that's a very sad situation. I want to hear your thoughts about the situation in Afghanistan. What are you hearing? Are you hearing anything in the news? Are they reporting anything? Are they talking about how, uh, you know, people that are not, they're not flying out. You know, they're being uh, spirited out in different uh, ways uh, to get Americans and, uh, you know, our allies out of Afghanistan, green card holders and those type of situations. 
they're having, you know, not everybody got out. If you thought everybody got out, it's not, that's not the case. Uh, you know, and they know that. Uh, and, you know, and they're working behind the, 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 the scenes uh, to try to get more Americans out and trying to do it on the down low, which is completely understandable. Um, completely understandable. You don't want to rouse his suspicions. Uh, you don't want people getting all pissed off and stuff like that. So, but not a good situation, uh, you know, for people over there right now. And uh, I just I couldn't even imagine what that would be like. I don't want to imagine what that would be like. You know, very weird, very very weird. You know, and you know, you figure you had uh, the British were over there as well. And, uh, you know, so there's definitely probably British people there still as well. So, you know, it was a scramble at the end. It was chaos. Um, and it was a mess. And like I said, I don't, you know, now you've got the infighting amongst the little groups in there fighting each other for what they want to do. So... Crazy, crazy situation. Um, now, I'm not saying that we need to go back in there. No. You know, um, that that's not... Um, we need to get our people out of there, for sure. That we need to do. Whatever whatever means necessary to get our people out of there. But, uh, you know, it's just... Uh, it, it's amazing to me. You know, you have... Uh, you know, we came in and we inserted our will and Russia did it before us. And, uh, you know... This is something that's not been going on for a minute. This has been going on for a long, long time. And they will continue to have infighting. And, uh, you know, you have uh, Russia and India, I guess, are trying to help with humanitarian aid. And that's good. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, it just, the situation is a complete mess. And uh, we left it that way. You know, just like, look at Iraq. <laughs> you know. It may, it just, it, it, it blows me away of what we do, and then when we're, you know, finally, okay, we've had enough, and, uh, you know, big business has made enough money, now we go on to the next thing, you know. There'll be another war, guaranteed that. There's too much money in it not to have one. And it's good for the economy. How crazy is that, right? It's definitely good for the economy, so... And it's not the senators and congressmen's sons and daughters off fighting and dying. No, it's ours. So that uh, that's how it goes as well, you know. But uh, uh, anyway, I could go on and on and on with that situation. It just uh, it's disheartening. It's saddening um, to see these things happening and. You know, it not being talked about and not being put out there in the public eye. And people realizing, because again, if you control the flow of information, then people aren't going to be asking those questions. So if there's no speculation of why this or why that from the news media, uh, people aren't going to ask because they forget about it. Out of sight, out of mind. I always used to tell people that. I said, you know, you had a job, like, where you were working someplace, and you worked with a group of people, and you got along with them, and you made friends and all that type of stuff. I said, when you leave that job, if you stay in touch with one or two people, maybe, if you're lucky, but for the rest of them, it's out of sight, out of mind. They move on. You know, or they leave that job, and they go on to another job. They just, they just forget about the people that they knew. Um, and I don't know why that is. Uh, I've never been like that. If, if I make a friend, I'm, to me, a friend is a friend. So, But uh, it happens a lot with any job. And uh, But again, that's it. Out of sight, out of mind mentality. So they don't think about you. You're done. They're just, you're dismissed, and that's the end of it. So interesting. Very, very interesting. But uh, like I said, just uh, another thing to think about. But I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, I hope you are continuing to prep. I hope you guys are continuing to get ready. Uh, you know, like I said, who knows what kind of time we have, but we just have to continue to stay vigilant um, in the time that we do have and work on the things that we can control. And that's it. Realistically, that is it. So uh, I will encourage you to do that, and I will always encourage you guys to do that. So stay focused, folks. Keep doing what you got to do. 
um, realize that we you know again make the connections that you need to make button up your houses get things in order get your things in order get things taken care of get your medical things taken care of uh, get your dental things taken care of that you need to take care of any kind of issues uh, that you have get them squared away very very important to get those things done now because you know when it happens too late no more dentist no more doctor no more that type of situation so uh, planning ahead is going to be uh, a very important thing a very important thing and again if you can get with the right like-minded people and work together you're going to be in much much better shape much better shape so anyway i hope that that uh helps hope it does you know don't get despondent don't get you know frustrated just do the best you can do that's all that's all any of us can do so Anyway, I'm going to jump off of here for now. I will see you all later. I hope you all have a great night. Uh, again, my sale for the Legacy Freeze-Dried Food is going to be ending on Sunday. So if you would like to save yourself 20% on the freeze-dried food, go to my website, PrepperNurse1.com. Click on Store. It will drop down. You will see Legacy Foods. You click on that. It will take you to the store within the website. Once you're there, uh, if you decide to make a purchase, when you check out, 20% will come off automatically when you check out. So definitely take advantage of that. Uh, remember, GMO free, gluten options available, made in the United States, uh, largest portion size of any of the other freeze-dried food companies. So you actually do get more bang for your buck. Uh, keep hanging in there, guys. Keep doing what you got to do. That's all any of us can do. All right. Uh, remember, we are all in this together. We are one race called the human race, and as soon as we can figure that out, we're going to be in much, much better shape. If we can work together, there's no stopping us. Also remember to hug and kiss the ones that you love. Tell them every single day, tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life. So it's really important that we tell the people that we care about every day how we feel. Last but not least, STD, step, thing, and day. One step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only one that can stop you from reaching your goals is you. That's it. Nobody else. Stay positive. Stay away from the negativity and you're going to be just fine. All right. I will see you all in the next video. Have a great night. Prepper Nurse One, out for now.